And if you are indeed to have my favor, what would you wish of me? What call is your deeds done at such threat to your own lives pre-consecution? Well, we, have, we do have a favor to ask, yes, yes. Um, if I may, uh, we, we are on a, a greater mission of our own, an important mission to recover uh, or at least question a gentleman that we believe is in your custody, or at least your dynasty's custody. Uh, his last name is Brunato, and he's a, a scientist, a chemist. We believe that he has uh, done some experiments which have wreaked havoc uh, in uh, other parts of the world and uh, caused people great suffering. And as part of our mission, we are to find out what he knows and possibly use his information to yes. heal some of the people who were affected by his experiments. You were asked to find him and return him so that he may be punished by the people there, but we know he is in your custody, so we understand that that's not possible. I would like both of you to make deception checks, please. Uh, that's a one, so I'll use this. <laughs> Change that timeline. Way better. <laughs> Still oh not great God. with my negative three. Might nine for me. Was it? Nine. Nine. Ten. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to let you talk. It's your thing, but <laughs> shit. Okay, a couple things. <laughs> we are in silly bed. <laughs> <laughs> One, the warm expression of the queen becomes less warm oh. and a bit more stone faced. And specifically in the moment that you concentrate and utilize that fragment upon you. There's a there's a brief There is a there is a brief just a a, a slight head turn of acknowledgement towards you and a curious look. A, a voice comes out from the side to the left side of you amongst the thrones it goes my queen if i could speak you look to your left to find the voice and uh, Lythir is standing there of course and she puts out a hand Lythir steps forward and goes my eye has been caught by these travelers for their smell is alien their intent unclear I myself still recover from wounds suffered along the western edges of the Ashkeeper Mountains, oh, not a week before. Oh, we fucked him up. As does my partner, a lauded Echo Knight in your service, my queen. We came upon a troop of Dwendalian scouts seeking weakness in our borders, wishing subterfuge upon our brave soldiers. We did battle and slew many of their filthy ilk, but were forced to flee when the tides turned against us. When these creatures, these allies of the Empire, assailed us, the air leaves the room as every member of this court kind of stands to look down upon you. The Queen leans back into her gate, and her staff hits the stone. In that silence, she looks down at you, her eyes now burning. Is this true? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, uh, yeah, we did. We did fight uh, with some, some of your soldiers upon crossing into the dynasty. Yes, but we're true. not, we're not soldiers of the, of the empire. My queen, clearly the gentleman is confused. We too were found in an ambush and found ourselves assaulted from both sides. Your friend over here did not seem to take any special actions to ascertain the nature of our journey. We did trade blows, although I do not recognize him from that particular encounter, but yes, this did occur. We were trying to make our way to the City of Beasts, which we successfully did. Her chin now raised, the warmth has vacated her face, the expression hard and angry. I am curious why you would walk into my sanctum. Yeah, me too. Seems well done right now. 
That's it. Have you nothing to say for yourselves? We simply seek your aid. Guards. Wait, wait. We have not been honest with you, it's true. She turns and sits back down on the throne. Everyone else begins to sit down. They've, they seem to have lost attention on you in the moment, and the guards begin to rush forward and just grab you at the shoulders. They grab Caleb. I am sorry. We are sorry. We have come to bring you something. We have come to bring you something. We have come a long way. No. No. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Just get arrested, man. Just get arrested. I think we should do it. Jesus. They've pushed Caduceus onto the ground. Um, Yasha is currently being put into shackles. Please, please spare us. He's my he's my husband. You you have my husband. You're hold you're holding my husband. There's no there's no attention being paid. The Empire is working against you. Wild Mount is working against you. And we have brought the proof. If you will allow me to show it to you. The uh, <laughs> Zythir across the way goes, what proof? I need to approach my friend. I mean no harm. I need to remove something from. You have a moment. Anything strange, and I take off your head. Chester, I am coming to you, okay? I am just going to open this bag. Careful, as you reach for it, you, you hear the sound of many blades being drawn as you reach for the bag, <laughs> echoing through the immense chamber, the bright light bearing down on top of you. You can feel the sweat beads forming and dripping down your forehead and gathering in your brow. I say this as a child of the Empire, connected to inner circles there long ago. And I reach in and grab the dodecahedron. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh God. And lift it into the air. I thought you were gonna get out the tripod first. <laughs> go, go big or go home. The minute you pull the dodecahedron out, you hear the clattering of metal. Ting, 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 ting. <gasps> Gasps. If you thought air was escaped from the room before, it is a vacuum now in silence. The thrum of the object in your hand, the light pulsing like the heartbeat since the moment you found it. You see every eye upon you, and the queen, the bright queen herself, we have this grin, has stepped around the art object, the symbol that sits before her throne, and looks down straight into it, her eyes wide. You see tears forming at the corners of her face. I am of the Empire, but I am no friend to the Empire. One of your own came to retrieve this and fell and I bring it to you. And I set it down in front of Jester, two or three feet in front of her feet, and raise my hands back into the air. Everyone is just locked in on this, and slowly they all begin to look to the Bright Queen. She holds her staff up and says, release their bindings. One by one. You find your chains, your manacles, pulled away. The queen takes a step, and another, and another, and approaches, tall, elegant with each step. She approaches, and she's even more imposing, more beautiful and ethereal the closer she gets to you. She sets her staff aside and reaches down from the handles, picks it up. You bring us hope. I 
and you have undone one of many great wounds against us today. I have no words. My emotions burn within my chest. If you are no friend to the Empire, you have certainly today become heroes of the dynasty. And that's where we'll end tonight's oh, episode. Oh my god! Because <laughs> it's 10 o'clock and I want to I wanna do Talison and this when we come back in a couple weeks. Plus it's a fun moment to finish. Oh, that's right, we're taking next week off. Take next week off, yeah. Oh <laughs>